Hello my friends, welcome to a new video. Today, a comparison between two seats that are really at the top of the tubular frame segment. When I look at the design of the Titan, nothing really jumps out. It's a very safe and classy design. The stickering for the Titan is optional and the only thing that really shines are the six small feet and the bolts that hold the frame together. There are seven different options for seating area on this rig and here GT Omega saw the opportunity to add some color to your rig with some classical red or even a vibrant pink. It was first released in 2020, one year before the Blazy Trophy. The Trophy is a bit of a different case. The Dutch company opted to add more of a design element to this rig in the form of the white lettering and decals. The design of the structure itself is also very unique in comparison to other tubular frames. If it is hot or not, is your call. The Placey Trophy is also available with the red seating area and of course the beautiful Logitech Edition. The configuration of both rigs is more than decent. The pedal base of the Trophy has a bit more options, especially in height. When you flip the pedal plate around vertically, it comes up higher from the ground and is even suitable for an F1 position. The angle of inclination on both is sufficient and with the pedal plate of the Titan you can also turn the entire plate structure horizontally for a negative inclination. I think here the configuration of the play seat is slightly superior since it has the extra F1 configuration available. The wheelbases of both can angle up and down to a certain degree with the trophy having the larger range. It is a Titan on the other hand that has the advantage because you have a bit more range on the vertical configuration due to the linked structure of plates. As with a lot of tubular rigs, the vertical position of the wheelbase holder is limited. I had no issues on both with the very low profile C12, uh, although I felt the height of the trophy was more to my liking than with the Titan. To accommodate to your leg length, apart from the adjustable pedal base plates, you have the on-the-fly configuration of the seat slider on the Titan and the non-on-the-fly extendable tubing of the trophy. The trophy also allows a lot of configuration of the hammock with the straps. You can adjust the height and depth of the seat, uh, but also the tension of the back. When it comes to build quality, I think they also are both uh, really neck and neck. Um, I really like them both. I think the, 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 the Titan has a bit thicker tubes, um, but for the rest, uh, I think they are much the same, even the paint. Um, it is not the best paint uh, because it will give, give you some scratches, but it is really decent paint too. Um, so I, do, I don't I don't have uh, any preference here for build quality. Both are good. These rigs have the reputation of being very stable, and for both I mounted a couple of Fanatec V3 pedals and the Camus C12 to test it out. From the footage, I could see that there was flex for both pedal plates. The origins from the flex on the Titan is the part where the part of the seating area and wheelbase and pedal holder are joined. For the Trophy, it seems more that the pedal plate itself bends a little under the stress. During the testing of the wheelbase, there was more flex visible on the footage of the Titan. Again, this doesn't seem to be originating from the wheelbase holder itself, but more from the frame. The Trophy also shows some flex, but as said, a bit less than the Titan. It has to be said though, the flex didn't bother me while driving at all. Even stronger, if I wouldn't have seen the footage, I wouldn't even have noticed the flex. The dimensions are also very alike. Eh? They are both very compact systems. Um, I think the, 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 the Titan is a bit more compact in, in, in length and a bit wider in width, but this is because it has the extra shifter holder in place. Um, but for the rest, yeah, also all very, very compact, uh, compact frames. What is different, however, is the weight. And that is really a key factor uh, between both. If I look at the Titan, it weighs around 50 kilograms um, with the seat on it. So the frame and the seat 50 kilograms. If we look at the trophy, it is 17 kilograms. So that is a huge difference and you will feel it when you have to move it. So if you have a rig that you need to move from time to time, the the, the, the trophy is so much handier. 
when it comes to extra features well um, the trophy is very bare bones so you don't really have any extra features there uh, which is a bit of a shame because if you look at the, the titan it has the the shifter holder and yeah that is something that i do think should be standard when 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 a rig is bought i know not everybody uses it but well it is just a small effort to include it in the package uh gt omega did this and the trophy well it doesn't have one when it comes to ecosystem you have a lot a lot for the gt omega you have some extra wheels some uh, an extra mount to put an extra shifter on it you have a display standard uh a monitor stand you have um even a replacement for the pedal plate which is a very very nice so a, a, a rather a big ecosystem for the for the gt omega for a tubular frame if we look at the play seat wall there, the ecosystem is a bit more narrow. You have a shifter holder and uh, probably also a monitor standard that you can uh, that you can have, uh, but that is it. So yeah, for that also really the GT Omega is a bit more special. Pricing and availability, what we see here is GT Omega works with, uh, with their general website where you can order things. They don't really have uh, resellers and the uh, Titan with the RS9 seat goes for 589.9 euro. Now this price it varies, it goes up a bit, it goes down a bit, but let's say around 580 euro that you should count for for buying the uh, the Titan. When we look at Playseat, Playseat with their uh, trophy, they um, go via retailers and there the prices can vary. I saw one as low as 489 euro that is really the lowest and it is available for this price at this moment uh, on Amazon I think um, and but the, the, the general price is around 550 euro so there is a price difference yeah of 30 euro 40 euro between them. The seating area is the biggest difference I have between both. Uh, at one side you have the play seat trophy which has the, the hammock, at the other side you have more the, uh, the sports seat, or the seat from a sports car, on the, on the Titan. The Titan is a bit higher also, so it is more accessible to get in and out, while the, the, the trophy, yeah, it sits a bit lower and then, yeah, it is a bit more difficult to get in and out. The seat rails and inclination are also very handy to have and again make a big difference to get in and out of the seat. Just slide it back and step out of it. This is a bit different with the trophy. I wouldn't say getting in and out is as tricky as with their formula seat, but still it may be hindering to people that have issues with their back. The back of the trophy can be inclined also, but not on the fly. When driving, the trophy feels more comfortable. The weight from the upper part of my body is channeled more towards the frame of the seat and causes less stress on the lower part of the back. The hammock of the trophy also creates a very ergonomical seating position for the driver. This is a bit less with the RS9 on the Titan. It's still good, but it just supports the upper back and upper legs less. Now something which does bother me with the RS9 and also the RS12 is that the single lock of the inclination make the seat squeak when in use at the side that is not locked. When using a headset this isn't bothering but without it can be a bit distracting. The fabric of the trophy's hammock on the other hand can tear a bit on the sides. It's not a structural problem but it did appear a few times when researching it. If you guys have watched the, the, the video that I made about uh, the best seat uh, of, of this year, you know that I prefer the, the, the Placey Trophy above um, above the Titan. And yeah, well, it has it all has to do with, with uh, how sturdy it is and how light it is and how comfortable it is. So in those three areas, those three key areas, it just scores better than the, than the Titan. Titan is a fantastic seat, but the Trophy is just a bit better. A lot of the times when someone asks online about these rigs, the feedback often is given that for that price you could buy an aluminium extrusion rig. And it is true that a basic rig of that type can be had for around 650 euro with a seat. But still, the tubular rigs have a lot going for them. I found them, and especially these, particularly sturdy, nice to look at, space saving, and in the case of the trophy, even easily movable with a very limited weight. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had something from this video. Please leave a like if you did. 
subscribe if you want to see more videos also check out the new discord channel i created i will put an invite link in the description and i will see you all next video bye bye